All right, so this is where we left off in our uh, previous segment where we understood surface types. So we have this image and as usual we will control L try to see if it whitens out too much white so cancel again control L and just create settings that make you comfortable yeah that should be good enough because we're just going to use it for a base reference in case uh, in case background disturbs you too much you can just select out shade so this was my base shade I make a new layer fill it up with our backspace uh, add my white all right has to be darker on the top this I'm going slightly darker on the edge right here yeah you can see here in this area my path is gone slightly curved but again like I said this is not important what we are here to study is this one this area all of this and this happening so what I'll do first is I'll select out this complete block So firstly the outline I will make a selection now if you notice this image the outline that we selected for this patch this area is popping out that means this area would be popping inside would be pressed inside okay so we will go and this is basically an inset So if that inset happens you have to imagine how the shadow would appear and then in the bottom it comes out so leave the bottom light again okay we have we have the base effect ready balance it out and you can darken the top slightly more alright that block of inset we have justified now then we have the second area which is the area that is popping out this area so since it's like a step it will have a lot of light captured let's keep that at the center now this is a box so uh, the corners will again make make this shadow happen this sort of a shadow happen so keep the corners slightly darker something like that ok now you see that that uh, the surface comes in this way please ignore my free hand I am using an intercin not a Cintiq it will go in and follow the surface curvature then step out and come back down and again curve in so you get what is happening right that is why this area is darker this is brighter and this step 
since it's going inside the contour line from here would shift here now when it comes out also the coming out of it you can see so it shifts from this to this this shifting of these lines that you have to keep in mind to read a contour line okay now for the third area which is the air scoop My layers are getting created on bigger areas. So this one I'm just going to fill with black but not too intense. I want my black to be deeper inside and brighter outside like in the real world. Something like that. Something like that. Now like I said this outline we can use to cut out the remainder of that area. Control shift i select inverse delete that's how simple it is and uh, yeah so this is basically how it should be done you can also uh, to make this pop out slightly more find the edge for these sort of positive surfaces and add a little and you can add a little bit of darkness with you know, very minimal visibility just to emphasize that white if you add a dark shade next to this whitish shade the white will get emphasized more you know something like that and then use the eraser to make it fit into the body oops I, uh, I added that shade on this layer but anyway we can redo that layer something like that okay very gentle very subtle uh, I'll just fix the previous layer that happens we've seen that before I've done that in some previous exercise also I think sometimes you end up working on the same layer and when you try to edit further effects it creates a problem uh, black there so something like this we would want to see now if we were to try and combine all of these layers where is the base you can you know always group them duplicate the group sorry duplicate uh, the group hide the first group for your further reference if you want to reuse any of those layers and you can merge the group to create a single image so this is the group okay now you can also go back to our source and on the base layer you can if you want to even if you want to make it fade even more if you don't want a very stark and distinct box you can try things like these uh, you can you can make them look like they're merging into the vehicle every effect you create every effect you create if you use a eraser or the same shade like I'm doing right now with the brush tool you can make it look like you know these things are fading into the body because this is how a car surface would ideally in the real world look like where things are fading in this effect now this was white so bring back the white very gentle strokes no hard strokes this grey you need to fade into 
Argamage. Okay, we can go back to our path here and erase out what we have done because we want this step to be more prominent. So something like this you can do. Again, it's up to you. You can experiment, try your own methods and see what different effects you can achieve. But this is the basic and standard method of achieving this step effect.